Hey everyone, in the Space Marine 2 parry guide, I want to give you some tips on parrying and where to practice it. So, uh, first of all, you need to know what the parry controls are, and on the PlayStation, that's L1. On the Xbox, that would be LB. And if it's a different one, if you have a little look at your settings, so for me, I hit the menu button on my PlayStation controller, go to settings here, and then the controls are here and then look at controller layouts or whatever you've got there and it shows you so you can see parry slash shield block here depending on whether you're the bulwark or a standard uh, class that's just using a combat knife or something like that. So we've got this area here which is where I suggest you get to to practice parry but the controls that I show will be the same if you want to practice it in game. Now if you play the campaign the game does teach you how to parry right at the start of uh, the campaign, I can't remember quite how far in, but there is a little tutorial on it, but it's easily uh, forgotten about once you've gone past that. So once you get to the battle barge though, what you can do if you interact on here, make sure you're in operations, if you're not on this one with the little arrow on it, select that, pick an operation and then come out of this area, it'll probably throw you back into this area complete in a squad. And to leave that squad up the top there, you see it says edit squad for me, that's triangle, and then I would just leave the squad. Once you've done that, you can hit the uh, touchpad on your PlayStation or whatever button it is on the other uh, platforms and move to the armoring hall. And make sure you're in the standard multiplayer mode, not solo, because then what you'll have access to is trials. And I find this a very useful area for practicing uh, parry and showing you how to parry. Uh, but of course you can you know, just do this in the standard game if you so wish. But on tactical, the trials here, if you have a little look at the first one here, there is just one enemy that it starts out, and this is quite a good one to parry against. Now, it's a big enemy, so it will knock you over, but you can still practice parry here fairly, uh, you know, without much threat, and it doesn't really matter whether you fail or not. So this is why I think this is quite useful. So you can see it's talking about the scanner here, so you'll learn a bit about the all specs scanner, but if I just choose accept here, you'll see what we mean. So LB or L1 on the PlayStation, like come on here, is doing that command there. Now the little blue um, circle that we had there, if I'd hit the L1 there, I would have done a parry. Now I can hit L1 there, and then R2 uh, was, what we call a gun strike so if you do a perfect parry you'll have that option to gun strike the enemy like we see there and then we can execute here by moving up and pressing r3 so we will then move to a range thing here which we're not interested in so we hit the pause button and just choose to finish the trial we'll go back to here and we can repeat it again so sometimes with the larger enemies what i want to point out with the parry is if you hit the button yeah, even when they're charging if it's a big enemy so you watch this so i'll hit it there and I'm okay there, I've got parried, but a red circle, that's what I was looking for, can't be parried. So for that, you want to be dodging out the way, which is X, uh, to roll out the way of the enemy. So we did something there successfully, so we got the gun strike. So always keep an eye on for that gun strike while you're doing the parry. If you're happy with that one, you can just hit pause, uh, choose finish trial, and then you can have another go at it here if you wish, or you can move into another one. So this one here is has more enemies, so you can practice a little more here. So we've got smaller enemies, and the reaction with the parry might change a little bit with these guys when they come in. So they're a little harder to see who's coming in, but you can see we're sort of getting the parry there. So as the big guy comes in, I'm waiting for that, that time in there. So I hit the parry with the blue ring coming on, and then we grab the enemy. Um, but these other ones, we're just sort of hitting the parry, and sometimes we're getting a perfect parry uh, when they come in. So there's a perfect parry, and everyone is pulled away. And again, that's worked out quite well. So we can see there's lots of enemies coming at me now, so I'm not going to be able to parry everything here. And if you've got uh, the option to execute, if you look at my armor up the top left, it'll be the white bar that now appears. It's a successful execution will replenish armor. But the last thing I want to talk about with parry, if you're still struggling with it, is have a little look at the classes and in the perk tree, because certain classes can have a perk that can help, such as the Vanguard here. So you can see under core, once I've got past, I think it's level two, because these unlock the more you level up, so I'm currently level 10. Uh, but this one here, you can see it says perfect parry window increases by 50%. So we'll have more success with the Vanguard with the parry than anything else. So there you go, that's Space Marine 2 Parry Guide done. I hope that helped you out. If it did, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, very welcome. If you like what I do, hit that subscribe. That would be awesome. And uh, have a little look around the channel. I've got all sorts of tutorials on Space Marine 2 and many other things too. And I hope you like what you see. Thanks for watching.